My name is Anirudh Chatterjee. I'm an associate professor at the uh, University of Otago uh, in the Department of Pathology. We are based uh, in Dunedin School of Medicine. Our law works on epigenetics. So the fundamental unit of life is a cell and every cell has the same genome, but every cell is different. Skin cells are different to blood cell, blood cells are different to muscle cell. So the question is, what makes them different? Although they have the same DNA letters and it is because of the epigenetics. It's an instruction manual to the cell. So it's an on or off signal uh, that actually provides how our genes will function within a cell. Uh, and in cancer, the on off signal goes wrong. And our lab is trying to understand uh, why they go wrong and where are those on and off signal in cancer cells and how can we prevent them. I think collaboration is really a key part of the lab because we are working on a very cutting edge area. We combine molecular tools with computational tools to answer the questions in epigenetics that we're asking. We really want to take our discoveries from the lab to the clinic to help patients and the only way to do that is by collaborating. Nowadays everyone is very specialised, not everyone can do everything in the lab so you really have to seek out people you can work well with and who have skill sets that can complement your own. I require uh, active collaborations with groups locally, nationally and internationally. Um, for example, we may take samples from a group in the UK um, we can process them here and then the, the dissemination of the results it goes to all of our collaborators and um, to the wider scientific community. We value each individual and the different expertise that they bring. Uh, we value collaboration with people locally but also overseas. Within our lab we have students that are uh, junior trainees, uh, honours masters and PhD students who are more mature uh, in their research journey to sort of bring our best expertise together and actually get the answers that we're asking for. I think the main thing for any science uh, scientist undertaking research is that they want to be able to research what they like and what they understand while also applying it to real world uh, scenarios. So luckily with my project in the Chatterjee Lab we're looking at uh, colorectal cancer which is quite prevalent in New Zealand and it's quite prevalent among the Maori community as well. So hopefully if we develop this method of early detection we'll be able to save um, a lot of lives. A lot of studies have shown that there is a correlation between the stage of the cancer and the survival outcome. If you generally detect in stage one, the survival rate is around 95%. I am working in something called as circulating tumor cells. So these are the cells that break away from the main tumor and they go through the blood and they, that's what causes the spread of cancer. So these cells have the capacity to study the tumor status and has the potential to be developed as a, a marker for early detection. What we're hoping to do with liquid biopsy is they can just have a blood sample taken, send that off to the hospital, and they can do tests on that. So what that would do is it would really reduce the sort of burden that the current biopsy practices have on patients. In terms of biopsy of cancer, a lot of time people have to come into like a big hospital and it's quite a painful procedure, especially if they don't have cancer, it can be a bit, sort of feel a bit futile. And we think that would be easier for doctors because you don't have to you know, go in and do a whole biopsy on a tumor, which will be quite deep. Um, and also it's a lot nicer for patients. I'm currently in my second year of PhD and I'm working with targeted epigenomic editing in melanoma cell lines. So for using targeted epigenomic editing, I'm using a novel uh, cutting edge technique called as a CRISPR-Cas9 system. And I'm also using a lentivirus uh, method for you, like transfecting the CRISPR component into my melanoma cell lines. Uh, along with this, in order to achieve my objective, we are also using a very new and advanced technology called as Cut and Run, uh, which is very advanced in New Zealand. So uh, being in Otago provides that opportunity to have access to different new technologies. And also being in Chatterjee Lab, we have the opportunity to get exposed to all the new techniques and technologies that can help uh, build a very good project and thereby benefit the society. As a new research student, I found it really reassuring that I was joining a really supportive team. Everyone's from a like diverse background, like with research and like where they come from. And everyone's like at different stages at their careers in research. But we're like all working towards like the same goal. We do lots of events like Secret Santa and all that sort of thing. Uh, we also go for a lab lunch every single time it's someone's birthday, which is quite nice. Uh, we also have pathology happy hours, so 
uh, the whole department will get together and it's just a really good opportunity for all of the students to get to know their supervisors a bit better as well as other people in the department. I've really enjoyed my time here. It's a fantastic lab environment. Um, students are always really supported and I've always found it an environment that pushes me and challenges me uh, and offers me a lot of opportunities. Don't be scared from uh, new experience, don't be shy, be confident, apply your ideas, present them um, and, if you and don't feel shy to ask for help because people are really not judgmental. If you ask for support, you will definitely be directed to the right uh, direction. There are very good facilities provided here, and um, this department in pathology here is, is one of a number of very active research departments in the university. And these days, the facilities that are available, you know, the resources to do the work, are actually pretty well developed. And also there's the support to encourage new incoming PhD students and to advise them on the way they should be doing stuff. So I think for all of those reasons, this is a very good environment for postgrads to come and, and study. The journey of research is uh, challenging. It could be really challenging at times, but I think the key thing is to really identify your passion for research. What is that you want to chase? And once you identify the passion uh, for research, then there is platforms, there is support, there is people um, to support you through this journey uh, so that you can walk on that pathway and achieve anything you want.